It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the virtual pre-commencement ceremony for the School of Education and our 2020 graduating class. The tradition of pre-commencement is one where we, traditionally, together as a school, recognize each student who has earned his bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree. And today, as you all know, is a bit different. We are not where we all want to be. We would all love to be here together in this great college church celebrating. But even though we are unable to gather together physically to celebrate, we are still able to honor our graduates in this unique way, and we are very happy to do so. We are here to celebrate you. We are here to acknowledge your hard work, your perseverance, and to call you out to continue to live the values of St. Louis University in all that you do moving forward. Although many of you may have grown up always expecting to earn a college degree, I hope it is not lost on you that the attainment of a university degree is a true accomplishment and a genuine privilege. Fewer than one third of US citizens and even fewer Missourians have college degrees. Your degree is a very big deal. And a degree from a world-class institution like St. Louis University is an even bigger deal. Congratulations. Family members and friends of graduates, we know that you have played a critically important role and you have sacrificed much for the success of your loved ones. We are so pleased that you are here to celebrate with us today. As you all know, this has been a semester and a year like no other, and we will always remember the class of 2020. In the face of a global pandemic and all the burdens and challenges associated with that, you have shown determination, commitment, flexibility, compassion, and care. You have persevered, and we at the St. Louis University School of Education are proud to call you our graduates. You have represented yourself so well during these extraordinary times, and we know that you will be a wonderful representative of SLU. You are what makes SLU great, and you are one SLU. Graduates of St. Louis University, and especially graduates of the School of Education, are called by St. Ignatius to go forth and set the world on fire. You have been prepared to fully apply your gifts in ways that improve the lives of learners and communities around you. We trust that no matter where you work, how you serve, you will employ the insights and lessons that you have gained in these past years to make our world a better place. A Jesuit education teaches you to be a contemplative in action. As graduates of the School of Education, you are reflective scholar practitioners. Even after you graduate, please continue to take the scholarly approach to your own professional growth. Study, read, strive for continuous improvement in your work so that you can best serve your students and our wider community. And don't forget that whenever you need us, we are here for you. Turn to us, your faculty, your guides, your mentors, whenever we can be of assistance to you. On behalf of the School of Education, I invite you to continue our tradition of returning to SLU this fall for homecoming. Like you, we are very disappointed that we cannot gather together right now for our pre-commencement ceremony. And thus, it is more important than ever to get together this fall so we can celebrate you and your accomplishments. So we hope to see you at the homecoming and family weekend, September 25th through 27th, later on this fall. And we look forward to seeing you there. Finally, you will certainly face challenges and hurdles in the years ahead. You are taking on a noble and difficult profession. As this past semester has shown you, you are ready for whatever the world can throw at you. Know that each time you succeed, we will be celebrating your successes with you. You are part of the St. Louis University School of Education family. Once a Billiken, always a Billiken. And so, to begin our celebration today, I would like to welcome Father Ronnie O'Dwyer from the Society of Jesus, who will give the invocation. Father Ronnie. O 
Our social distance is not a sign of cowering, but rather one of commitment. A commitment to a vocation to be educators. A privileged few about the business of the future. We gather today as a community in dispersion, to borrow an image from the first Jesuits, because paradoxically we know that to be an educator at this moment is to use all that we've learned at SLU in order to hold social networks of family and school and community together. And so, dear graduates, we send you out today not in a spirit of retreat, but in resolve convinced that the vocation to be an educator is more important now than ever. And we trust that the God who placed in you the desire to make a difference, first heard in a very different context, will give us the abundant grace to bring that dream to fulfillment. And now, I would like to welcome Professor Sally Beth Lyon from our Educational Leadership Program Professor Lyon has the privilege of announcing all of the School of Education award winners, along with the Alumni Merit Award winner. Professor Lyon. It is my pleasure to award four students with awards for their outstanding contributions to the school. Each year, the School of Education selects undergraduate students who best exemplify the vision and mission of the school to receive the Gilson Award. The Gilson Award was named in honor of Dr. James F. Gilson and the first dean of the school. This year, the school has selected Hannah Mueller and Casey Frost. Hannah's nominator stated, Hannah's commitment to the well being of others is reflected in her willingness to share her time in humanitarian projects. She is a quiet leader among her peers and is clearly engaged in all that St. Louis University can offer. Casey's nominators spoke of Casey's dedication to her students and to SLU. Casey always went the extra mile. Her passion for teaching is displayed in and out of St. Louis University. Congratulations, Hannah and Casey. The Hand Gardener is awarded to a student who demonstrates a higher presence and leadership in education. This award is presented to an undergraduate student who exemplifies scholarship, leadership, and service. This year's Hand Gartner Award is presented to Kaylee Chapel. One of the nominators wrote, so proud of Kaylee's accomplishments. Her 6 a.m. dedication paid off on and off the field. Wonderful student, leader, and role model. Congratulations, Kaylee. The school has also selected two graduate students whose actions exemplify the ideals set forth in the mission of the school. These two students are the recipients of the J.J. O'Brien Award. Our first recipient is Sarah Wendell. One of her nominators wrote, Sarah articulated insights into leadership and education with a wisdom far beyond her years. She was one of the quieter students in the cohort, but like J.J., when she spoke, what she had to say impressed class members, and she speaks with insight and meaning. Congratulations, Sarah. Our second recipient is Latrice Young. One of her nominators wrote, Lee's doctoral project set out to create supplemental instruction for high school students in St. Clair County, Illinois. To support the needs of this population, the outcome of Lee's doctoral project was a college readiness curriculum to address deficiencies in reading, grammar, and writing. Through Lee's high touch, caring approach to educating, she makes a difference in students' lives and their communities. Congratulations, Lee. I would also like to announce the School of Education Alumni Merit Award winner, Alice F. Roach, EDD, Education Graduate, 2006. 
Dr. Roach served as an educator and administrator in the St. Louis Public School District for more than 40 years. Inspired by her teachers, Alice felt called to become an educator at an early age. She earned her undergraduate degree in elementary education from Southeast Missouri State University in 1972, and her master's in counseling from the University of Missouri St. Louis in 1975. In 2006, Dr. Roach received her doctorate from St. Louis University. Dr. Roach began her career in 1972 and worked for more than a decade in various roles, including teacher, guidance counselor, instructional coordinator, and assistant principal. By mid 1980s she was named principal of Marquette Visual and Performing Arts Middle School. Under her leadership, the school was honored as a Missouri Gold Star School. Dr. Roach went on to serve as principal of Carr Lane Visual and Performing Arts Middle School before taking the role of executive assistant to the superintendent in 2004. Dr. Roach's greatest challenge, though, came in 2006 when she became the founding principal at Carnahan High School of the Future. When she took the position, the school's attendance rate was 55%. Over the course of her four-year tenure at the school, attendance reached 95%. As principal, Dr. Roach successfully implemented technology-based learning. Dr. Roach received national recognition for her work at Carnahan in 2008, when she was named a MetLife Ambassador in Education, an honor bestowed on only 25 educators across the country. With such tremendous success attributed to her leadership, the superintendent asked Dr. Roach to serve as chief of staff, a position she held from 2011 until her retirement. Since her retirement from the school district in 2013, Dr. Roach has served as administrative director of the Parsons Blewett Memorial Fund, which provides educators in the St. Louis public school system with financial support for educational and professional development. The fund also provides aid to educators in the district who are in financial need due to health or personal crisis. For her decades of work in the St. Louis Public School District, Dr. Roach received the 2015 Lifetime Achiever in Education Award from the St. Louis American Foundation. And we are proud to recognize her today. Congratulations, Dr. Roach. I am pleased to welcome Professor Mark Poussin of our higher education program area, who will share some words in honor of Professor Doug Rush, who's retiring after many years of service to the School of Education. Professor Poussin. I'm Mark Poussin, a faculty member at St. Louis University in the School of Education's Higher Education Administration Program. I'm honored to give tribute to our colleague, Doug Rush, upon his retirement from St. Louis University and the School of Education. Doug is retiring from St. Louis University and the School of Education. He says he's going to do it. He's about to set sail on some new adventures with his beloved wife, Jeanette. But before he sets sail, I'd like to share with you a little bit about Doug. Doug began his career in the Navy after graduation from the United States Naval Academy. He was commissioned a second lieutenant and for 30 years served our country in grand tradition, retiring as a captain. Doug, thank you for your service to our country. In the early 1980s, he earned a Jurist Doctorate from St. Louis University School of Law and practiced law for 25 years. During his early career in the academy, Doug served St. Louis University School of Law as an assistant dean before making his way over to the School of Education, first earning a PhD and then assuming a faculty role in the Higher Education Administration Program for the last 12 years. To capture his School of Education contributions, we need a conceptual or theoretical framework. All academics need a framework, right? 
So in thinking about Doug, the song titled Dr. Lawyer Indian Chief, written by Hoagy Carmichael in the 1940s, comes to mind. Now stay with me, this makes sense. Doug, how often have you heard that one? One of the lines in this song is, there's a doctor, lawyer, Indian chief living in your town. Well, we've had a doctor, lawyer, and faculty senate chief rolled into one residing in the School of Education. So let's review the triangulated findings that support Doug's contributions as a doctor, lawyer, and faculty senate chief. So as a doctor of education, Doug has been a proponent of quality research. He is a man whose curiosity and talent to ask tough questions were manifested in his teaching, advising, and mentoring, all talents doctoral students have appreciated. As a lawyer, or as a recovering lawyer, as Doug often speaks of himself, he prioritized the need for evidence to support hypotheses, the need for policy, adherence to policy, and continual evaluation. As the faculty senate chief, or i.e. president, Doug's leadership and advocacy skills were evident in his role as chief, or I mean president. As a champion of faculty governance, Doug sought the voice of all faculty through their senators. It was this collective voice he represented and brought to the administrative tables. There's a line from that Hoagy Carmichael song, our framework, that goes something like this. How could anyone else love you like we do? So here's some examples of the higher education faculty's thoughts about and wishes for Doug on his retirement. Doug, your great wisdom, integrity, and kindness will be greatly missed. Thank you for being a phenomenal colleague, mentor to many, and faculty leader for SLU, Daniel Joy Davis. Thanks so much, Doug, for your, for your determination in presiding over the Faculty Senate, a really important role in which you helped to shape shared governance at SLU. Blessings for a happy and adventurous retirement. Beth Winfrey Schindel. Thank you for your tremendous commitment to St. Louis University through your leadership and service. Our students, our faculty, and our entire community will be forever impacted by your good work. Molly Schaller. Thank you for your dedicated service to St. Louis University, the School of Education and Higher Education Administration, Doug. I appreciate your conscientious student-centered approach to teaching, learning, mentoring, and serving, including the support you showed me when I was program director. Enjoy retirement. I highly recommend it. No meetings and lots of fishing in Florida. Karen Myers, Professor Emerita. Doug, you've taught me many lessons in the areas of history, research, and governance. The biggest lesson I learned from you is from your quiet, strong commitment to guide and mentor students toward academic and professional success. Challenge and support the work of students. I will remember you as a student-centered educator who does not give up. Mark Poussin. Doug, our collective blessing for you is fair winds and following seas as you set sail on your next adventures. Thank you. I'm very pleased to introduce our commencement speaker today. And you all know today's speaker, our 33rd president, Fred Pastello. President Pastello is the first lay president in the history of St. Louis University. And our administration, under his steady leadership, has continually responded during this crisis with care, compassion, and competence as we have met these extraordinary challenges. Most importantly, President Pastello and his team has coined the phrase, One Slew, which well describes the extraordinarily strong community that has nourished us through this tough time. I am grateful that President Pastello is with us today to offer you words of encouragement on this special, special event. Welcome, President Pastello. Hello, graduates. I'm grateful for the chance to speak with you today during the time that would have been your commencement week. 
Special moments you anticipated and earned were lost. Final sports seasons, your last clinical rotations, award ceremonies, and the infamous campus fountain rung among them. You might be feeling pressure. I know I would be. I also want you to know that SLU is working hard to support you as you transition to this next phase of life. We realize that you may be struggling in a world dramatically different from what the norm has been. But think about it. Your generation has faced a number of adversities, from the 2008 Great Recession to concerns about climate and scarcity. And while I wish this were not the case for you, I could not be more confident and relieved that you are the ones who will steward our planet in the future. Each of you arrived at SLU with greatness already within you. St. Louis University helped you see how you can use your gifts to improve the lives of those around you. It is no secret that younger generations have been criticized for not knowing how to connect with others in person and that you can only communicate digitally, which doesn't seem like much of a drawback now, does it? Here is what I need you to know. You are joining a Billiken family like no other. As you move forward, surround yourself with hopeful and supportive people. Treat them well. Develop deep friendships. Find a great partner. And until you find one, get a loyal and loving rescue pet. Your success and psychological well-being is heavily dependent on your willingness to embrace and be embraced by your communities. We cannot and should not walk this path alone. Our world needs people who are rooted in their story of worthiness, who are strengthened by a higher purpose, serving a greater good, and who are empowered by the Jesuit spirit of seeing God in all things. Now is not the time to harbor your gifts. As servants of our mission, you are given a great responsibility. You have been taught to be judicious about acquiring information and to be accurate in your portrayal of various histories. You are obligated to recognize the inherent human dignity of each person and each story. You know that knowledge is powerful. It requires action. Apathy is negligent. When you hear stories of suffering, you have an obligation to act. When incorrect stories are told to rationalize morally unjust decisions, you have an obligation to correct the narrative. When the stories of those who are most at risk are silenced, you have an obligation to elevate those stories using the access to institutions and platforms that your position grants you. Find solidarity with those who join you. Break a few eggs. Lead with empathy, compassion, and vulnerability. Respond to vitriol with grace. Listen to the whispers, shouts, and stories of those around you. In them, you will hear the voice of God. They may see potential in you that you might not yet see in yourself. Commence the journey committed to enjoying each unanticipated twist, turn, and chapter along the way. Graduates, for years you have been told that you are the future, but you know you must be more. You must be resilient, contemplative actors who in the face of hatred overflow with love. You must use your education to critique injustice fight for the rights of the disadvantaged, and relentlessly strive to ensure dignity for all. Billikens, you are our present, and that is a gift the world cannot do without. 
We are forever one slew. And now, this is the time you've all been waiting for, the announcement of our 2020 graduates from the St. Louis University School of Education. Announcing the graduates of whom we are so proud are their faculty members, including Professor Catherine Mitchell Pierce, Professor Jody Wood, Professor John James, Professor Molly Schaller, and Professor Ronnie O'Dwyer. And now, the graduates of the class of 2020. Monica Hassan Basic, Renee E. Stites Creep. Abdul Aziz A. Alasmari, Dalal S. Bin Mafus, Deborah S. Pellegrino, Latrice Young, Noemi Y. Pinello. Dennis H. Huffington, Jennifer Spurgeon, Marshawn C. Warren, Amanda D. Wood, Anjali Amola, Janelle R. Ballard. Matthew T. Copeland, Laura A. Hoffman, Arlen Dadash, Teresa DeMont, Ann M. Hickman, Megan E. Hill. David B. Hodge, David L. Hurley, Candace J. Hopp, Jared R. Lewis, K. C. McCrary, Bradley J. Olano. Jamie S. Robeson, Stacy Siedler, Vashon D. Smith, Corey J. Bennett, Dustin T. Connor, Mirna Narod. James P. Cummings, Karen C. Folk, Stephanie M. Horan, Mary K. Jones, Rebecca E. Valentino Kalin, Julie R. Mermelo. Jared R. Schluderman, Mitchell A. Shook, Sarah M. Wendell, Mary J. Woolley, Anna Hilliard, Benjamin. K. Smith, Cameron Alden, Quinn Peoples, 
Maxine Rodriguez. Santiago Venegas. Marissa Williams. Samantha Witteman. Kristen Abarno. Elizabeth A. Doherty. John P. Hale. Grace E. Hartenbach. Shannon M. McFall. Madison E. Miller. Elizabeth A. Moeller. Allison M. Blattner. Kaylee N. Chapel. Madeline L. Dishner. Tristan J. Drulinger. Emma J. Farley. Haley L. Franks. Casey L. Frost. Maya E. Gross. Mary E. Gines. Aaron K. Johnson. Madeline C. Johnson. Siobhan M. Keller. Spencer P. Laban. Claire E. Long. Dana H. Meineke. Samantha R. Moore. Talia S. Morris. Hannah N. Mueller. Jack B. Murphy. Sydney K. Fang. Abigail B. Purcell. Daniel R. Rick. Madeline S. Springate. Megan K. Walsh. Andrew Zhang. So let us pray. Lord, you are our teacher par excellence, and you call these graduates to educate patterned on your own pedagogy of accompaniment. And so, God, our teacher, bless this moment, and in so doing, bless all that this moment represents, the labor and the toil of study, the gratitude that we have for the distinguished faculty and staff and all others who have supported us on this journey. And perhaps most importantly, let this ceremony be a festival of gratitude for the vocation that we have received, to join you in the work of liberation, sent forth to teach all nations. Amen. Thanks to all SLU graduates, friends, and family for staying with us throughout our first ever and hopefully last ever virtual commencement ceremony. As many of you know, this has been my second year at St. Louis University, and I am genuinely grateful each day for the opportunity to pursue the Jesuit mission of St. Louis University alongside our dedicated group of faculty and staff whom I am lucky to call colleagues. It is my great honor to recognize the efforts of faculty and staff of the School of Education. The faculty of the school have served as supporters, teachers, mentors, advisors, advocates, and role models to our students. 
the small but powerful staff in the School of Education go above and beyond every day to serve our students, to support our faculty, and to make the School of Education a more welcoming, supportive, and successful place. Graduates of the School of Education, please know that you will always have a home here. Please wear your slew pins proudly, and please be proud to be Billikens. I suspect that most of us here at SLU have been asked at one time or another, what is a Billiken? My answer is that a Billiken is a mythical creature that represents things as they ought to be. As graduates of a 200-year-old-plus Jesuit institution, you are now called to do your part to make the world a better place, as it ought to be. As you go forward, we call for you to live out our shared Jesuit vision. This means seek the divine in all things, in all peoples, in all cultures, and in all areas of study and learning. Strive to make a difference in your community and in the world. And finally, go out into the world and live your lives as women and men with and for others. When all are working with and for others, we build a more just, and human world. Thanks for coming and congratulations to the St. Louis University Class of 2020.